So we're looking at the what I do for our entire session. Let's take a look at the warm up. Uh, sometimes I would do British Bulldog because it's a fun, energetic sport for the target audience. We're, we're, I'm working with 12, 13, 14 year olds, which are young adults and they're coming up. They need to do something fun but also realistic to their age. So British Bulldog is a fantastic sport for them to take part in, just to warm them up, to get the blood pumping so they're ready. Taking, taking them into British Bulldog is a simplistic thing to do, like just get on with it, it's really quick, it's efficient, it's effective. Then looking at the drill part, we will do, I would normally do something that's revolving around football because it's a football based session. I'll probably do something to do like passing and receiving the ball because these are some key fundamentals that I feel like every young athlete needs or every young participant needs to be working on. They're around, it. again, they're on the adolescent age or young men coming up or young women coming up. So they need to be able to have the key fundamentals to play the football properly. So working on, let's say, receiving the ball and again, passing is key for the growth and the development. Next, going into the main session, taking them into a game component. It's good for them to have like a real life example of playing football so they can, they can understand the do's, the don'ts, the technical and, technical, technical and tactical skills of the sport. But the best way to show them is through examples through them actually playing and then afterwards probably ask some questions, guide the discovery again, like, oh, what do you think that went? How, what do you think could do better to promote, promote their cognitive thinking to develop the growth? Next, looking at the cool down, I would just probably just walk around and put everyone in a circle and just start doing some stretches just to cool the muscle down to release the lactic acid in the muscles so that they can obviously leave the leave without having any injuries because if they do get injured that would lead to them not wanting to come to the session again or possibly even not being able to come to the session again. Uh, all these factors into their age, as I said, they're young adults they're 13, 14, so these games and these activities need to be suited to their level and their gaming ability.